Hi, I'm Dr. Shankar Kumar, Senior Consultant, Practicing Diabetes, Internal Medicine and uh, Thyroid Diseases. There are two types of diabetes. One is type 1 diabetes, what is called as insulin dependent diabetes, commonly seen in childhood. The other type of diabetes is type 2 diabetes, also called as non-insulin dependent diabetes. Now coming to the type 2 diabetes, what is called as non-insulin diabetes. After some time, the patients might need insulin. So this is called as insulin requiring. It is not insulin dependent, it is insulin requiring. Because of high sugars or some underlying uh, problem or complications like infections or some other uh, problem patient has to be undertaken for a surgery or patient develops a boil or severe infections. During that scenario, we try to put the patient on insulin temporarily. But once the infection thing settles down, the stress is also gone and the patient responds very well and the insulin requirement drastically comes down. So at this point of stage, you can always take out the insulin and patient can go back to his oral medications. But if the sugar is not under control with a standard dose of medications what a patient is taking, especially with oral drugs, then patient might have to continue insulin for his uh, long time. There is no hard and fast rule that patient has to continue. If the sugars are under very good control and if the insulin requirement is bare, bare minimum, the insulin can be withdrawn if patient is not very comfortable. Another common thing uh, the patient uh, asks is once they attain targets, can I avoid medications or can I avoid insulins? Okay, this is the myth or misconception most of the patients have. Uh, what I advise is they have to stick out to the medications, very important, until they have complications like hypoglycemia or some other uh, complications or when it is not contraindicated or some gastro gastrointestinal side effects like vomiting or severe abdominal pain. Otherwise, the medications have to be taken regularly. Insulin is very very valuable especially when the sugars are very high or when the HbA1c is more than 9 we always advise the patient to take uh, insulin okay because insulin is the only substance or uh, drug that can reduce the sugars and by reducing the sugars the patient has got a lot of benefit because once the sugar comes to normal they can avoid all these complications and prevent these complications so insulin is very very important and they should not avoid the insulin and they have to stick onto the insulin and we have newer devices for the injection what is called as inject injectable devices and they have uh, very fine uh, needles and it's almost painless and it's very easy for the patient to to stick onto this insulin with these newer devices the other thing what uh, patients normally are worried is what is the normal control and many patients, once they, attain, once they attain the normal control, they, they always skip the medicines or they try to say they reduce the medications. So that is the wrong conception that most of these patients have. So control is very, very important. The target control of sugars are very important. Fasting should be always less than 130 milligrams and after food it should be less than 180 milligrams. This is the target they are supposed to attain. And the HbA1c level should be less than 7. But many of these patients, once they attain these targets, they either try to discontinue the medications or reduce the medications on their own. And it is important that they should not do this because because of the dosage of medications or the medications what they are taking, they have attained this control. The moment they reduce or skip the medicines again, the control is lost and they will again go back to a high blood glucose levels which can pose a threat okay, and cause complications.